ACT and Mathematics test number two. Take a second and read these if you want. You can pause them. I've gone through them before. Uh, some of the big points I like to make is that the geometric figures are well, are in a plane, but the figures are not necessarily drawn to scale. Um, that's generally not true. They are almost always drawn to scale, but never make assumptions. So this uh, recording is going to go fairly quickly. It's designed to be paused often. So, for example, you could pause it now, try the problem, and then see how I do it. It's entirely up to you. Number one, assume the statements of the box below are true. You can read them, read them, and then consider only the statements of the box, which of the following statements must be true. Now, this is a bit about logic, uh, and there are certain rules for logic, but you can just go through the answers and work this one out. Uh, Maria has car insurance, um, and the big one here is all drivers who live in Ohio have car insurance. Well, that's doesn't mean that if you have car insurance, you live in Ohio. So um, the following statements must be true. Maria does not necessarily have to have car insurance. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I'm reading the problem the wrong way. Maria is a driver who lives in Ohio, and all drivers in Ohio have car insurance. This is definitely the answer. Antonia does not live in Ohio and does not have car insurance. Maybe, maybe not. Catherine lives in Ohio, but we don't know if she's a driver. So leave that one alone. Ty has car insurance and he lives in Ohio. Not necessarily. He could live somewhere else and have insurance. Jorge lives in Maine um, and he does not have a driver's license. We don't know if he does or doesn't. Could be anything. So, and again, if you want to stop and go over it, pause, record, listen to it a couple times. That one's just some basic logic. So, Number two is just what I call plug and chug. Um, if x equals negative three, what's the value? Most people do it this way. Negative three squared minus one. Negative three plus one. You're gonna get nine minus one over negative two, which is eight over negative two, which is negative four. So it's F. The better way to do it is to notice that the top factors and the bottom is already X plus one. So when you put negative three in there, you get Negative 3 minus 1 equals negative 4. This x squared minus 1 shows up a lot on the ACT. You have to know how to factor it very quickly on a regular basis. Number 3. Mr. Joan earns 320 each week at his job. If 18% 18, 18 of his pay is withheld for taxes, what is his take-home pay? So he keeps 82% of his money because 82 plus 18 equals 100. So you just multiply that times 320 and it will give you the answer of 262.4 B. In triangle number four in triangle XYZ shown below, XY is congruent to XZ. This one's not necessarily drawn to scale, but it's pretty close. Uh, if you remember from geometry, the sides across from angles have to be equal if the sides are equal. Uh, the angles have to be equal if the sides are equal. So we're looking at 100 plus this angle x has to equal 180. Therefore, quick problem, x equals 80. Number five, a lot of verbiage. Um, I'm not going to read it. You can pause it and read it if you want. But they're basically cutting out of circles on this six, 9 by 12 sheet. And they can basically get um, this many circles out of each sheet. So that's 4 times 3. There's 12 per sheet. Um, and they need 50. So four sheets get you to 48 so they'll need five sheets they'll have a lot of wasted circles number six on the real number line below numbers increase in value from left to right b is positive value of a must be not necessarily negative it could be let's just say for argument's sake b equals two a could be 1.5 has to be positive, no. A could be negative 1. Has to be less than B, yeah. Change colors here. 
looks like I tried to and it didn't work. All right, that's fine. I'll stay there. Less than B. Greater than B, no. And between 0 and B, no. Zero. A could be negative 1. Well, simple stuff. Seven, little math, 2x minus 10 equals negative 11, 2x equals negative 1, x equals negative 1 half. Number 8, which is a factor of the polynomial. Um, I'm going to factor that one quickly. And I check negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. This looks like I did it right. Um, x minus 5 is on the list, but this is kind of problem. I, I definitely want to look at all the answers and see if there's any chance I screwed it up. There's two. No, it looks, looks good there. Number nine, a line in the standard coordinate plane is parallel to the x-axis and seven units above it. Well, hopefully you know that's y equals seven. Number 10, 3p over 5 plus 3q over 2. Fractions, the common denominator is going to be 10. Multiply top and bottom by 5. 6p plus 15q all over 10. That's g right there. Number 11 is a good question to watch out for. Uh, I actually made a mistake when I was going through this because I didn't read the full question. Um, so always read the full question. When you're doing an ACT, make sure you get the questions right. Fast is important. There's a lot of questions, a lot of time. Most people can't quite finish. Some people finish quickly because they don't do the job properly. But always read the question. Uh, she has a 27-foot long airplane, wingspan of 41 feet. You're making a 120th scale model. And this is where I screwed up. I compared the length instead of the wingspan. So anyway, you're making a 120th scale model. It's 120th times 41 feet, which is 41 20ths which is 2 and 1 twentieths. Number 12, on Bill and Carl eating pizza. On ate 4, Bill ate 3, Carl ate 2. And one more slice and a half. So 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 10. How many slices was the original pizza cut? you got to be careful there. A lot of people... So we're looking for 10 in the answer. So if there was 10 on that half, there's 20 total. Number 13, another percentage problem. Shipping costs for the Acme Furniture Company increased by 60%. Cost them 80 before and increased by 60%. So it's going to be 80 plus 0.6 times 80 because it's gone up by 60%. Um, and that's... $48. That's $48. So the total is 128. Terry plant number 14, Terry plants painted ceiling. Um, she's got this certain area here. Each court covers 100 square feet, so we need to figure out the square footage. I'm going to do this. 15 times 8 on that side plus 10 times 10 on that side is 100 plus 120, 220 square feet. And we divide that by 100 because you get 100 square feet in each gallon. You need 2.2. Well, you can't buy 0.2, you got to buy 3. Number 15. X equals negative 4, what's the value? Very common effort to mess you up with negatives because here they're going to cancel out and over here they're going to get squared away. It's a pretty common problem. 48 plus 60 
108. Answer is E. So number 16, trapezoid below. If you don't know, trapezoids are parallel lines and this angle plus this angle equals 180. They want the angle C there. So X equals 100. Done. Seventeen is uh, what we call combining like terms. Uh, whenever I see a problem like this, and I really need my color back, I'm gonna shut this down and try and get it back. Can't get it back. Plus negative plus plus. Can uh. Distribute that negative immediately. So 6a to the third plus 3a to the third is 9a to the third. Uh, negative 5ac plus 2ac is minus 3ac squared. And 14c minus 8c is plus 6c. And that would be this one here. Eighteen. f of x is this. What's f of negative 2? Well, this is things that bother students. It's not that hard. You're just plugging it in. Put the negative 2 in wherever an x is. So you get 12 minus 10 minus 5. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. This one is a very confusing problem. It's good written confusing but it says buy three tires get the fourth tire free you gotta read this one all four tires what would the regular cost be how about four dollars a tire so you should be spending sixteen dollars but since you only buy three you're only spending twelve dollars so you're saving four dollars four out of sixteen is 25%. So see, first time I did this, I got it wrong. Got to think about this one carefully. That's it for now. That's part one. Part two is coming right up. Good luck.